Atop a coral peninsula extending out into the southeast corner of Sabu Sabu Bay, the lighthouse dive site is a buffer between the open ocean and bay. Named for the lighthouse sitting atop the reef, this site reflects well the ever-changing dynamics of the reef ecosystem. Once known for magnificent table corals, this site now sports waving fields of spaghetti coral, whose amber flexible stalks entrance and soothe. The spaghetti coral colony disappears at 10 meters, but within this 10 meter zone, it is extensive and uniform. This is due to the spaghetti coral's strong chemical exterior slime, which can kill all adjacent corals within reach. The density and vast numbers of this coral here is attributable to ideal conditions and cloning. Where the spaghetti coral ends and coral rubble begins, you'll find the occasional white tip reef shark, grouper, and other soft corals. This white tip reef shark is asleep, only moving from its slumber because of my presence. White tip reef sharks don't need to swim to breathe. Unlike most other sharks, they can pump oxygenated water over their gills while at rest. In Bethnic zones, where only the coral rubble of past storms resides, there is plenty of food. Algae and small invertebrates provide many morsels for these picking parrotfish. The second largest sea star in the world is the crown of thorn starfish. A predator of hard coral, this specimen alone can transform a beautiful reef into an algae encrusted graveyard. Another venomous creature of the reef is the bicolor rabbit fish. Half purplish brown and half yellow, this pair here has toxic spines along the top and base. This is an easy dive located a very short distance from the Jean-Michel Cousteau Resort. Don't bother going deep. The best views are the shallow, soft coral reef. 